Massive power poles here are taking up entire sidewalks in Montrose. ABC 13 was first to question whether these center point poles were creating ADA accessibility issues. Now I notice that appears to be from the city's engineering department is posted on the pole, raising the same concern. Now these poles are located at the intersection of Dunleavy and Westheimer. Liliana Pearson was the first to report on this issue and is back at one of those power poles in question question tonight, Liliana. Well, this is one of those giant power poles right here. And the reason we first started reporting on this back in October is because we wondered if this made the sidewalk ADA accessible. In order for a sidewalk to be ADA accessible, it needs to be three feet wide. This is the sidewalk that was left over. This is not three feet wide. However, since our earlier reporting, you can see that they have paved this side of the pole. This is three feet wide, making it ADA accessible, but it does put you right up on this busy road. We also noticed, though, this notice right here that appears to be from the city of Houston engineering department. It says the way that this pole is built right now means that they are unable to build a handicap accessibility ramp. For months, people have been swerving around and squeezing by enormous center point power poles along Dunleavy Street in Montrose. We have to walk around the cell towers. We used to be able to walk down a sidewalk and torn up that sidewalk, have to walk in the street. ABC 13 first reported on the accessibility concern on a rainy October 6th morning. It shouldn't be this hard to navigate as a pedestrian around here. At the time, Centerpoint said they had the needed permits to build this way and would reroute the sidewalk. But as of October 26, this notice claiming to be from the city's engineering department says the poll is preventing the city from building a handicap ramp. When we first reported this story, we ran into Marvin Krasner, whose wife uses a walker. At the time, he said the power pole impeded on accessibility for somebody with a mobility device. I would think it would be a challenge. I mean, obviously, she would have to adjust her walker to be able to, to maneuver through that. We ran back into Krasner and his wife again today. This was his reaction to the city's notice that his concerns are justified. I'm not surprised. They've been working on this for months now, mm -hmm. and not, it's not changed, so I presume that's how it's going to stay. Today, we reached out to Centerpoint about the notice and ongoing concerns. In a statement, they said, Centerpoint Energy worked with the city on permitting of the asphalt around the pole as a temporary solution to the impacted sidewalk. Conversations between Centerpoint Energy and the city continue to jointly identify the final remediation. And today we also reached out to Public Works and the city engineering department. We heard back from Public Works. They told us they're working to get us in contact with somebody from the engineering department. As of now, we have not heard back. I'm Liliana Pearson, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.